In this video, we're going to learn how to draw an approximate polar plot based on the type and order. Okay, so yeah, in the previous video, we did an example 1 over 1 plus 2s um, is the given system. So here we know that order of the system is number of poles, which is nothing but the characteristic polynomial um, equation when we make it equal to zero. So how many poles are there in this denominator will give you order. So in this case, I have one pole, so order is one. Now the type, how do we define type? Type is nothing but, it gives, tells us number of poles at origin. So here type is nothing but number of poles at the origin. How many poles are there at origin? Here in this case, the number of poles at origin is zero. Um, I mean, we don't have any poles at origin, so I'll say zero. Say in another example, say if I have one over one plus two s times s. Now the order of the system, how many poles are there? Two poles. And what is the order? Um, order is two poles. And what is the type? How many poles are at the origin? I have one pole at the origin, so type one. That's how I define order and a type. Okay, now, now, so here is the graph. In this graph, it tells you if type zero, if you have type zero, your graph is going to start there. Type one, your graph is going to start here. Type two, graph is going to start here type 3 graph is going to start there so the type will tell you where is your starting point okay you can continue so if the fourth is going to start here 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 so if type 11 is going to start from there type 12 is going to start from here so you can and so on you can continue now the order will gives you the end point so order tells you end point so the first order is going to end there, second order is going to end here, third order, fourth order, again fifth order, sixth, seventh, and eighth order. And you can continue, okay? So the order gives you end point and type gives you starting point. So basically what are we doing here? The polar plot is nothing but it gives you it tells you the behavior of the system as we make a changes okay so it's similar to the Bodo plot but it's a little bit different than Bodo plot because Bodo plot you can draw the individual lines we can tell behavior of the system of based on the individual lines here we can find the overall system okay now here the here is an example we just did from the previous um, I mean the same example 1 over 1 plus 2s so here order is 1 type is 0 so type 0 is going to start from there and order is 1 so it's going to end there um, so that's how it's going to be why can't it be a straight line because I mean I just proved it in the previous case this number whatever this number is there that tells you the distance between these two now here is the next example here I have 1 over s times 1 plus 0.5 s so as I said the order is 2 type is 1 so order tells you end point it gives you end point it gives you starting point so if order is type is 1 the starting point is it's going to start from here and order gives you end point so order is right there i mean that's the second order so it's going to end right there so graph is going to be something like this i mean it's going to meet at the at the infinite or down there here is the next example in this example uh, what is the order of the system here how many poles are there basically so there are four poles order of the system is four and type type of the system how many poles are there at the origin two poles so that's a type 2 system okay so if you remember type tells you this gives you starting point this gives you end point okay so this is order one two three four so this is a fourth order so that's going to end at this point 
and type 2 so if you remember this is type 0 type 1 type 2 so starting point is somewhere here so basically this graph is going to be this graph is going to look like uh, look like something look like something like this okay why it is bulging here it's based on based on these numbers two and three okay here is the next example here the given function is one over one plus two s one plus three s one plus four s so order of the system is three third order type of the system is zero because there are there are no poles at the origin so when we draw the graph your graph is going to start type so it's going to start at this point type zero so it's going to start from their order three so this is first order second order third order so it's going to be it's going to be something like this now if you don't have any poles at the at the origin then probably the starting point is going to be visible okay at far away so here is the next example if you have a function let me see what we have okay if we have a function something like this 1 over s square 1 plus 2s or 1 plus s 1 plus 2s 1 plus 3s So here how many poles are there um, so poles is nothing but it tells you the order so it's a fifth order and what is the type type 2 so when we draw the graph that is type 0 type 1 type 2 so it's going to start from there okay and fifth order so first second third fourth and fifth okay. so the graph is going to be something like this okay so since since I have poles at zero I mean then definitely this is meeting this axis at infinite so that's the reason I'm not showing you those two are meeting here I don't have any any poles at origin um, let me explain this one more time um, so order of the system is that's the fifth order and type 2 So fifth order and type 2 so we know that this is type 0 type 1 type 2 type 2 so basically um, type 2 is going to start from there and fifth order is going to end right there so that's how I got that I'll stop this video here I'll make another video thank you